Okay, hi. I have some new products and I have some old products that I used in different ways. First up, uh, for my base, I used the Glowish. And um, this powder, uh, I went ahead and used a wet sponge with it and used it as a base. And um, when it first came out, they were advertising that you could do that. So I went ahead and did that. And then I used the Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. As far as what I looked or used on the um, <laughs> the cheeks, uh, this one is the She Glam and this one's in Love Cake. So it's a pink one. And then I went ahead and used the Sigma Blush Palette. And I did a combination. Uh, this one is the Corda Rosa. And then I used a little bit of the pink in as well. So uh, that's what I did there, along with the um, the Chic Glam, and this is a liquid blush. So I used both of those. And I also used the Flexitarian Highlighter by ColourPop, which is this one. So that's what I used there. Went ahead and did the Thick It, Stick It in the Ash Brown as far as the eyebrows. And the Essence Curl and Volume Mascara and the ColourPop Act Natural Mascara. And then as far as what I did on the eyes, um, I was on the internet and I found a Sigma sale, so I went ahead and picked this up. Uh, this color is actually beautiful. If you watch the Met Gala, uh, the, the dress where they did the big reveal on the stairs and everything was bronze. Uh, these two colors and then um, that train was actually this blue color and this whole palette has been really inspiring me I didn't know it was coming out when it did come out I went and grabbed every color pop princess super shock shadow I had everything that I had uh, to try to go ahead and do some of the looks from this and it's a whole thing it's the packaging it's this beautiful blue sort of uh, Tiffany's kind of a blue uh, with all the gold and I mean look at this it's just it's absolutely gorgeous so um, yeah this whole palette and at the time that it came out it just wasn't on my list of things so I didn't get to pick it up till now but I have to say that this has probably inspired the last uh, three or four months of videos that I've been doing. So I do have it on today. And with this one, um, I did go ahead and use this one as the base shade and then a little of this on top, this on the inner corner, right under the brow, uh, this on the lid, and then I went ahead and put this um, in the crease and uh, mixed it onto the lid. So, uh, the way that the eyeshadow came out was like this. And I thought that I would go ahead and put a little bit of the She Glam highlighter on the eyes that I've been loving to do. So, I got this. It's a cute highlighter. It looks like the world. And then this particular highlighter has micro glitters in it so you can just put it over the top of your eyeshadows to just give them a little bit more glimmer and shimmer so uh, now the eye look looks kind of like this and then as far as lips go I went ahead and used the Oma It's Complicated and added a little bit of the uh, Milani Ludicrous blush on there, or Milani Ludicrous lip gloss. There we go. Maybe some more. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe a little bit of a eyeliner as well. Oh. And the other part that I did with this, um, again, I used the Glowish as my base and used a wet sponge there. And then I did go ahead and use the Ambient Lighting Powder 
and um, I used the universal powder over here and then the bronzer as well. So I did go ahead and use both of those in this look as well. And it is, yeah, I think it's pretty. I don't, yeah, it's not, it's not as glowy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot glowier. So let me go ahead and get an eyeliner. This is the ColourPop It's a Dream, and this is their uh, vault for that. And some of these shadows. Uh, I don't have that one. It must be out and about. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Um, this is a color stick. This one was actually in the Riviera Cruisin. I don't know where the blue one went. All I can find is turquoise. And so I think I want to do a darker blue as first highlighting. So give me just a second here. think. So now it kind of looks like that. And anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and try out the palette. And um, it's just, the quality is so nice. It really is amazing. And the Sigma brushes, well, I mean, they make brushes. They're known for brushes. So um, thank you, Sigma, for your sale. And I am loving this palette and um, I'm actually thinking that I can go ahead and mix it with some of the palettes that I already have from Earth. I can mix it with the one palette that I'm having trouble with from Sigma and I brought this I bought the Untamed I think it's beautiful let me get the another fun brush um, so this is what Untamed looks like and then I thought, the other reason that I thought about this palette was I thought that, um, yeah, that these two would go really well together. And the Untamed has about two shadows. Ooh, I'm going to shadows all over my fingers. It has um, two shadows, like two greens, two purples, um, yeah two of those coral colors and so I thought that this would add a little bit more flexibility into this Untamed um, palette which I mean they're both really pretty the formula is great but I just wanted a way to go ahead and use them and have a, a couple more purples a couple more blues you know to to go ahead and do some color or um, some color on the eyes. So um, I think actually the Cinderella will go really well with this and that they'll be uh, good partner palettes or um, so they'll go well together. So that was the other reason that I went ahead and picked this one up. And I think that's just about my video today. Um, like I said, I've been playing around with some of the new stuff that I got and it's fun. And um, I think that's about it. And thank you and have a good day. Bye.